Vulture's Arch Enemy Solo 2, right now on the Spike Signal. Today we're going to be discussing the second solo before the main solo in Arch Enemy Songs, Vultures, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I have everything annotated here as you can see. What is going on that you'll notice is that we are in the key of F minor and everything is shown as such, but we also have a little bit of deviation from it, rhythmically speaking. Just like last time, we're also borrowing from the harmonic minor and the melodic minor rhythmically when doing this solo. I did another video on playing over those things. I'll put that somewhere around here. This is going to be the same sort of deal, but the solo is using some different techniques. So we're just going to generally go through it right now. And to start, I'm going to go ahead and play it. So, sounds very, very uh, intense, dark at certain points, depending on how it is, but also sounds rather melodic and nice at other points as well. So, let's go ahead, waste no time getting right into it. The first chord we have here is an F minor, and that's just the flat 2 of F minor, which means, because it's a natural being held uh, prior right here, that means we're starting the solo off in the first, first measure non-diatonically. And to do that, we have to go here. So it sounds very at odds with that first measure. So what comes next then? Now, I'm going to do a whole other video on the idea behind this, but essentially we are at this point borrowing from the F harmonic minor. It's the E diminished. That would be the natural seven of F harmonic minor. And we actually have almost entirely, not completely, but almost entirely are playing notes from the F harmonic minor with the exception being this flat seven right here. The uh, seventh mode in F harmonic minor actually has a natural uh, or rather a double flat seven. Uh, so play Playing very closely within that, a great example of what to do when you're playing from the natural 7 of F harmonic minor rhythmically. This is what you should be doing if you want to sound kind of within that solo-wise. From there, we get into the flat 7. Go to that D diminished, so going back to the flat 7 really quick, that's the E flat. We are staying entirely diatonic here, so we go from the diatonic F minor go to the non-diatonic uh, E diminished, borrowing from F harmonic minor. We then move to the E flat, which is the natural, or rather the flat seven. A little bit of a lick here, these chords and notes all staying within the E flat major sound. Then, borrowing a D diminished from the uh, melodic minor. That would be the sixth mode of the melodic minor specifically. And these notes, as you can see right here, and I'll do, I'll get into these more later in another video, are all following within that mode as well. So even though we're going non-diatonic and getting outside of the standard minor scale, even with that, we are following in our lead solo, we are following along to what the rhythm is doing nonetheless. So good information right here now we get into the next part and it's a tapping section so we're going to stop it right there so now at this point in time we repeat the chords we just went over f minor to e diminished to e flat and these uh tapping lines actually for the f minor are basically outlining the triad the one the flat three and the five as you can see here and Right in the next part over here, we actually end up just substituting out the five for the flat six. So staying within the scale and more or less com completely chord tone solely with the exception of the flat six. We then go to the E diminished. And that actually as well, more or less, is staying within the seventh mode of the harmonic minor as well. Uh, note the flat five. As well as the flat two. We then go back diatonically to E flat major. And with that, we then have this uh, really cool little rhythmic passage. This rhythmic solo passage is just kind of revolves around the four, essentially the fourth note of E flat. And we're just kind of moving down and descending down in a very nice and cool fashion. Finally, ending out on the D diminished as shown right here. 
Now this D diminished once again, borrowing from the uh, six mode of the melodic minor. You know, we have a lot of uh, strange looking accidentals here, uh, just a byproduct of that mode from the melodic minor, as well as just some things outside of that mode. Uh, once again, showing you that you should not be afraid to get out of your diatonic key, out of your main minor scale that you're in if you want to make something that sounds kind of uh, off kilter and kind of mean. But at the same time, there is melody here too, nonetheless, at least the, the sense of melody. So it can equate to some really good stuff right there. So guys, that was the a second solo before the main solo in Arch Enemy Songs Vultures. If you like this video, I would appreciate you checking out a song I put out not too long ago. It's called Telestial Fray. You can find it on Spotify by typing in my name, just like you see it here on YouTube, Spike Signal. And if you let me know what you think of it, I'd appreciate it. So till next time, I'll see you right here on the Spike Signal.